What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so before we start our adventure right here, guys, some of you guys have notified me, and I need to press this off, hold on. Okay, and yes, there we go. Anywho, like I was saying, guys, some of you guys tweeted me, let me know that, hey, you know YouTube has this nifty thing called chapters where you can actually put the timestamps and it will actually become a timestamped uh, chapter right here on our video. And this is mainly because, well, you know, we're kind of doing everything in one episode now, I guess. Yeah. So thank you guys for letting me know about that because I actually added it or added these chapters in the last five episodes. So if you guys want to, you know, progress or get to where you want to be in my video and all that stuff, then, you know, chapters have been added. Anywho, in our last episode, we have uh, went through the Cerulean City Gym, defeated Misty for our second badge, and got ourselves an SS ticket. Yeah, this is the reason why we got chapters, guys, because we did everything in one episode and all that crud, including getting the TM28 dig. So, now it is time for us to move on right here. Now, I did put somebody back in my team. That is good old Hydra. You guys will see why in a little bit. But yes, we will be getting Hydra in there. We're not going to give him some action or anything like that. No, we're not. We're actually going to be going straight down to Route 5, going into Route 6, doing a lot of business over in Vermilion City, and we're going to save the whole SSN until tomorrow. That way you guys can see everything in one fell swoop. And well, here we are at Route 5. As many of you guys know, there are quite a few Pokemon right here you can actually find. Since we're playing Leaf Green, I believe it's Oddish that you can find, not Bellsprout. And if you enter this place right here, this is the initial daycare center where you can actually drop off one Pokemon, not two, but one. And that's the reason why we have Hydra in our team because, well, let's go right ahead and give Hydra to this guy right here. Now, if you guys are just playing this game regularly and all that crud, this guy is the way to go because every step is one experience point towards your Pokemon's leveling. And, well... Knowing me, because I'm using the speed button in this uh, this whole VBA thing right here, yeah, this Pokemon's going to be at level 20 in no time. So, let's move on right here. And, well, as you guys can see right here, that is the entrance to Saffron City. We can't go there just yet because, well, we just can't. Apparently, the guy is thirsty. Thirsty or something. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she's going to be like, Hi, do you have a Nidoran male? Want to trade it for my Nidoran female? Yeah, I already caught them both. No thank you. Now, in Leaf Green, I believe it's vice versa. She'll want... She'll want a female for a male. So if you guys are looking for that, you know, that's the person to go. Anywho, here we are in the un underground path. And, well, I'm going to be walking left and right because there are hidden items right here. I haven't necessarily pinpointed where. And, well, let's see. Where are you? Where in the heck are you? Right here somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Nothing. Okay, we're look we're literally looking for nothing, but I'm pressing the A button in hopes that we can find at least one thing. And we didn't find anything. That's why an item finding an item finder is needed. Now, I think if you talk to this lady, she's like, people often lose things in the darkness at the underground path. This is true. Okay. So, here we are in Route 6. And before we do anything, I think there is a hidden item right here. And look at that, we found ourselves a citrus berry. And now that will enable us to have a uh, pouch of some sort. Now, the best way to look for these berries right here in Fire Red and Leaf Green, if you guys locate, if you guys see right here right in front of me, where it has an M and a line throwing, going through it, there's usually something hidden right there. Sometimes. Not all the times. Just sometimes. And, well... Let's go right ahead and start battling some people because we've got to. There are many more bugs out here. Well, you're in round six, so yeah, there's not going to be a lot. So, as always, guys, we're going to be battling bug catchers, and we're going to be speeding this up right here because, well, not an important battle. Put more experience points for Tornado right here. And here we have a Caterpie coming up, and there we go. Caterpie has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. Look at that. And Tornado grows to level 17. This is awesome. This is great. And Kigo, Kigo, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Yes, he has been defeated. Okay. And since I kind of know what these guys are talking about, I'm going to be switching it up to Smasher right here. I'm going to be destroying everybody right here. 
Yes. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. What if I don't want to listen? I don't know. Here we go. Camper Ricky wants the battle. Coming out with his, uh, well, yeah, he's coming out with his Squirtle. And I'm at a huge disadvantage, so let's go right ahead and switch it up to Sparky. And, well, Thundershock for the win. And just like that, Ricky has been defeated. And, of course, they're going to be saying, whisper, whisper, whisper. That's right. Now, talking to her, and she's like, excuse me, this is a private conversation. Hmm. How private is it? I don't know. Here we go. Picnicker Nancy wants to come out, and here's a Radita. So, let's go right ahead and double kick this thing. And she is coming out with a Pikachu. Let's try not to get physical. And there we go. Rock Tombs for the win. Thank you, Brock. And, well, there we go. Alrighty. And here we have our infamous uh, homeboy right here with the evolutionary uh, Butterfree. So I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon right here because, well, this guy is usually a pain in the butt if you don't find him correctly. All right, I've never seen you around. Are you good? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Here we have Bugcatcher Elijah, and he's gonna be coming out with his Butterfree. This guy has confusion. Supersonic, and I believe, uh, let's see, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder, yes. So, let's go with the Rock Tomb, and that is it. There we go. Wow, that was like the first time I've defeated this guy without getting any status effects. That's pretty funny. Oh, Smasher, you are amazing. Okay, let's go right ahead and switch it off. Let's go with Leonardo right here. Leo Leonardo needs some love. And, bam. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Alright, let's see what happens right here. Here we have Picnicker Isabel, and she's coming out with a typical PG, so let's go. Water guns for the win. Let's do it again. Do it again. Look at that. And we're going to switch it up to Sparky. And there we go. Thundershock for the win. Yes. Okay, alrighty. We're doing well. Alright, bring it on. Huh. You want to talk to me? Yes, I do. Okay, so here we have Camper Jeff, and him and his uh, ever-loving short shorts are coming out with a spear right here, so let's go straight for a mega kick, and that does it, and he's coming out with a Raticade, so let's go with double kick right here, and just like that, Smash grows to level 20, he does not like me. <laughs> Anywho... Now we're going to be going straight into Vermilion City, and guys, there are a lot of things that you can find right here in Vermilion City. Let's go straight to the Pokemon Center first, because there's one big important thing that you need to do. First off, heal your Pokemon. Let's go, heal up your Pokemon in a quick, there we go, just like that. Now, if you talk to this young lady right here, she's going to be like, The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? Yeah, plenty of times. I'm sure you have. I wanted to uh, to battle certain people again over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. And here we have the VS Seeker. Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have to charge the battery in order to use it though. Oh, okay. So the VS Seeker right here guys, is a, is a it is the single most important piece of the puzzle right here. It is very, very important because it allows you to battle anybody uh, again, except for like, you know, dungeons, caves, and all that stuff. So as you guys can see right here, a device that indicates trainers who want to battle the battle, or the battery charges while traveling. So later on in this adventure right here, guys, I am going to show you separate spots where you can actually train in order to level up your Pokemon real quickly. The only thing is... The way I do it, you have to have the experience share too, just so you can actually have your Pokemon to level up a little bit faster. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's another thing right there too. All right, so the next thing you can actually find here in Vermilion City is if you go next door, and if you talk to this guy, he's like, "I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't I can't bear with, uh, to go without." Tell me, do you like to fish, sir? I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this, young, uh, take this and fish, young friend. And there we go. We got ourselves the old rod. This one, no, well, this rod right here, I believe, can only get Magikarps, I think, in what? 
the Ruby Sapphire Emerald series, you can actually get, you know, a tentacle with it if you're lucky enough. And uh, let's see. Did you see the SSN more in the harbor? Yes, I have. Okay, so that is another thing that you can actually locate. Now, if you go right here into the Pokemon fan club and talk to this guy right here, he's gonna, he's gonna be like, I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raised more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fuzzy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Sure, yes, I did. Good, then listen up. My favorite Pokemon is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to take this. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves a bike voucher, which, uh... <laughs> Let's see. Take this bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bike for free. Don't worry, my favorite Pokemon, or my favorite, or my favorite Fero, will fly me anywhere I need to go. So, I have no need for a, ba a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Okay, so, let's see. There's gonna be two things, guys. I'm gonna fast forward to Cerulean City so we can get that bike. And then fast forward to Route 6 so I can show you the VS Seeker. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in front of the bike shop in Cerulean City. And all we need to do now is have that bike voucher. Go to this guy and of course the bikes here cost like about 99 million dollars of Pokemon and arm leg, whatever. Give it to this guy. He's like, oh, that's, it's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. And there you go guys. You got a bike voucher. Pretty awesome. Thank you, come back again sometimes. And it's funny guys, because when I was playing Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow as a kid, didn't know exactly what a bike voucher was. Again, the internet was here and there. I came from a family that, you know, we had asked permission for everything from like, you know, playing your Nintendo, PS4, or PS2, PS1, whatever it was at the time, and even watching TV. Of course, I had to get my information into school, school ground, so, Shout out to my buddy Yamil again for helping me out back in the day. Alrighty, so we're going to be going back to Route 6, and I'm going to show you how to use the VS Seekers. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so... While I was doing a few things during the holidays, like, you know, replaying Pokemon Leaf Green and replaying Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby, I came across a Meowth. And I'm not going to lie, I really do like its moveset, and I really do like its stat line when it comes to early on battling and all that crap right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to capture Meowth and try him out on our team. You, some of you guys might be thinking, oh, that's a pretty dumb idea, but no. Like I said before, guys, I would like to actually use as many Pokemon as possible, and then from there, just, you know, train the crud out of them. And there you go, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. So, we got ourselves Meowth. And he's like, all it does is sleep. During the daytime, at night, it patrols its territory when its eyes glow. 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 That's a funny name right there. Alrighty, so we gotta give this guy a nickname. Well, since it, since it is a male and it actually, it's actually standing up on its, uh, in its hind legs, many of you guys would like me to name it Cyrus because of that Pokemon from uh, the animated series. But I have a different idea. I'm actually watching, like, the Mask of Zoro while I'm doing this. <laughs> I might as well name it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to... Okay, I can't even do that. Puss in... Oh, crap baskets. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I would love to name it Puss in Boots, but... <laughs> let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I do this? Okay, we delete one. Puss in boots. Boots. Puss in boots. Puss in boots. There you go, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to hell for this. But yes, here it is, guys. The name is Puss in Boots. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in round six. And here's the example of the VS Seeker. So normally... What I like to do is I like to be close by a, a, a nice group of trainers. That way I can actually battle them all at once. You're not going to get every single one of them, but you're gonna, you can at least get one at some point in time. Do remember this, guys. 
it does take 100 snaps to recharge your thing, so there's going to be a lot of running, a lot of moving, all that crud. And uh, if you guys want to make it easy on yourself, make sure to put uh, the select on the VS Seeker. That way, you know, you don't have to go in your bag every single time. So I'm going to press this. And as you guys can see, two people want to battle us. Let's go right ahead and battle them yet again. And, well, kind of want to use Puss in Boots. Uh, but I know what this guy is coming with. So let's battle him with the uh, good old tornado right here. Hey, long time. Have you gotten better? Of course I did. Have you gotten better? Okay, so I'm only assuming this guy has uh, progressed a little bit. Nope, stayed the same. Now there are certain trainers out in the there are certain trainers out in the Kanto region later on that will progress. As you guys can see, I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, why must you make it so hard for me? There we go, Thundershot. Oh, come on! There we go. Yeah, later on in your adventure, I don't know. I don't know. I don't necessarily know what are the progressives and all that stuff. But some trainers do gain some levels later on in Crap Baskets. I forgot about the whole fainting thing. Um, yeah, some Pokemon trainers do progress in levels later on, and there are specific areas where you can actually battle your Pokemon and get a whole lot more levels and uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a look at Pussy Boots right here so <laughs> here we have a uh, Pussy Boots and it's holding a Bellu Berry holy crud and it's, it has a yeah, it has a bold nature as you guys can see it has the ability pick up which is actually very very uh, useful for us if we're traveling around and all that stuff and as you guys can see it is a special defense buff it does have a lot of speed, so it's going to be a very, very speedy Pokemon when it evolves, too. And right now, it only has three attacks, one being a Dark-type attack, and yeah, cannot wait to evolve this Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and take this out. And let's go ahead and finish off with this last trainer right here. Lexi. Huh? You want to go, uh, you want to go with me again? Yes! Let's go! Alright, so here we are, rematch, Camper Jeff, and let's go ahead and speed this up. As you guys can see, his Pokemon do grow levels, and look at that, Raticate is at its appropriate levels right there. And just like that, we gain some more experience points. So that has been the example of the VS Seeker. Like I said, guys, later on I will be showing you the best spots to actually train your Pokemon. So I'm going to go back into the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we're going to progress going into Route 11. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Vermilion City. Now, I know that there is a trainer right here that will be trading you a Farfetch for a Spearow, but I'm going to save that for another episode as soon as we can uh, trade for every tradable Pokemon in here. That'll be later down the line right here. So let's go right ahead and move on to Route 11. And if you guys don't know where it is, it's right here. Here is the Diglett's Cave, which, of course, by the name of itself, you know, Diglett's Cave. You're going to find Diglett's there. But what we're going to do right here is we're going to be doing some training because, well, we need to train, guys. We really do. And I need to get Puss in Boots up to, uh, to par right here. So let's go right ahead and speed through this. Take it on this guy, and he's like, win, lose, or draw. Oh my god. Bring it. Here we have Gamer Hugo, you formerly known as Gambler, and well Yeah. Gambler, gamer, doesn't really matter. And uh, you guys you guys gotta love the fact that, you know, we no longer have the Pokemon uh or the, the, the game corners you know, the game corners with like roulettes or anything because of the whole gambling thing. Yeah, parents yeah, they don't like that for the kids and all that stuff, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on. Right here. How's it going? And let's go! But don't cheat. Okay, how am I gonna cheat? Seriously, how am I gonna cheat? Alright, so here we go. Youngster Eddie wants to battle, and he's gonna be coming out with an Ekans. Let's go right ahead and go with Puss in Boots. Bite attack. Scratch attack. And we are messed up right here, so let's go with Smasher. And Rock Tube for the win, right? Oh come on! Two Pokemon are paralyzed. I'm getting, I'm, I'm literally making a record out of this. That is three in one episode, maybe even four. Okay, let's go ahead. Thankfully, we are stocked up. Heal up our Pokemon, and let's go with this guy. And let us continue our adventure right here. All right, who's next? I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. You know, that's what Gary said, and well, he didn't win. 
got his butt kicked by me. So here we go, Dylan wants the battle, and he's going to be coming over with a Sand True. And, of course, Puss in Boots is not doing anything, so let's go straight to Leonardo. Water Gun for the win. And he's coming out with a Zubat. Let's go Sparky. Here we go, Thundershock. Thundershock, there we go. And Dylan has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alright. And, well, let's see. We got more trainers right here. This is a very, very good place to actually train your Pokemon too, guys. There's an abundance of trainers and all that crud. And, well, competition. I can't get enough. I think that's what you call a gambling addiction. I don't know. I, I seriously don't know. So here we have Gamer Jasper. And, well, Puss and Boots, let's go. Seriously, you're sleeping on the job, man? Come on. All right, Tornado, let's go. Peck Attack for the win. And he's coming out with another Oddish. And, yeah, we're going to continue going with this because they're not really hitting me. And there we go. We have one. Yes. All right, some of you guys do and some of you guys don't like it when I speed it up. But I did say I was going to switch it up right here in the Fire Red walkthrough because, well, we've already did this quite a few times, guys. And, you know, I think you guys deserve to, to know what you're going up against. But... Yeah, speed it up through and all that stuff. We're going to go through the more important parts. And, well, here we have Engineer Bernie. And he's going to be coming out with a Magnemite. Now, going into Fire Red and Leaf Green. Yes, these guys are Steel-type Pokemon. So, the best way to go about these guys is by, you know, Fighting-type Pokemon. If you don't have a Fire-type Pokemon. And Pussy Boots finally grows to level 17. We're going to continue with Smasher. Look at that. And just like that. We're going to be taking on a Magnemite, well under-leveled. All right, bring it. There we go. And double kick for the win. And just like that, smash your gross to level 21. Yes. All righty. All righty. And Bernie's like, wow, well, spark plug. Yes. All right, let's move on right here. Let's see if we can find anything else. Did we already battle this kid? I kind of feel like we did. All right, let's go ahead and see if he wants to battle us. No, he wants to battle us. I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Hmm. Let us see. All right, here we go. Youngster Dave wants to battle. Coming out with a Nidoran. And Puss in Boots still trying to hold its own. And we are poisoned, seriously. Okay, so we're not going to get anywhere with that. So let's go with Leonardo. And we are poisoned. Good gravy. And Leonardo grows level 24. Always great. And here comes a uh, Nidorino. So let's give Sparky a little love right here. Let's go with a Thundershock. Thunder Wave. See how that feels. Thundershock. And oh my god. Okay. So I got two Pokemon poisoned. Pegatech for the win. And Tornado grows to level 18. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. This kid did us some damage. He did raise his Pokemon really well. I should give him a... Yeah, I should give him the the Moonstone. Let's see how many antidotes do we have right here. And crap biscuits on a crapsicle stick. You know what? I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because uh, yeah, they need that. They need to be healed. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back and we're ready to go again. Let's go right ahead and battle this kid right here. I'm the best in my class. I train every morning. You do? Well, guess what? I train every morning too. Here we go, taking on youngster Yasu, and he's coming out with his Rattata. I'm, uh, I'm going with you, Puss in Boots, but seriously, man, you're really making us look bad right here. And there we go, first victory, and, well, let's continue with the cat and mouse game right here, get it? Oh, crap baskets! Oh, Puss in Boots. Okay, let's go with the mouse. And there we go, Thundershock for the win, and you know what? Thunder Wave, Hyper Fang, I hate you, and Thundershock. And, yeah, that right there is not going to be good. So, let's go to Smasher. And double kick for the win. And just like that, we defeated Yasu. I'll be right back with you guys. I got to go heal my Pokemon yet again. All right, so we're back, guys. Again, we're getting our butts kicked by kids right here. And you can't be a coward in the world of Pokemon. That is true, I guess. And, well, here we have another guy. And he's like, careful. I'm laying down on some wires. It used to be live wires. Okay. So, here we go, Engineer Braxton wants the battle, and he's coming out with a Magnemite. I gotta switch out my Pokemon right here, and double kick for the win. Here we go, and just like that, Braxton has been defeated. Yes, that was electric. I think he does uh, progress his Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. 
I have never won before. That is a god dang lie. Either you just became a trainer or... Oh, wow. So here we go. Darian wants the battle. Come on with his Growlithe. And Puss in Boots. Come on, man. Okay, so Intimidate is usually the, the bane of my existence right here. When it's, you know, me getting that. And, well, there we go. And we're going to continue on right here. And just like that, we have defeated Darian. He's like, I saw this coming. Man, such a negative Nelly right there. Let's go right here. Touch this rock, and look at that, we found ourselves an escape rope. That's gonna be useful, and here we have another guy. <laughs> I've never lost. Well, this is gonna be your first loss right here. You're gonna be taking this L, so here we're taking on Dirk. And let's go with a smasher right here. Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb, and Rock Tomb. There we go, put some boots, grows to level 18, and learns Payday, which... Can be used to our advantage if we want to get we want to gain some more monies. But right now, we want to get the heck out of here. So double kick. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated uh, our good buddy right here, and we grow to level 22. And look at this. Smasher's learning body slam. This is a very, very important move. Ooh. 85. You know what? I'm switching it for Mega Punch, you know. Because it does have a little bit of an effect, meaning that, you know, Body Slam, Paralysis. Yes, we have won the lottery on that. And he's like, you were just lucky, that's all. You want to bet? What, you want me to use the VS Seeker? Because I'll use it. Now, if you go right here, we're going to find ourselves a Great Ball. First of its kind, I believe. And wait, why am I talking to that guy? And I think we need to beat, a, beat this guy. No. Okay, so it looks like we defeated everybody. Now, we're going to be going right here, guys. Upstairs right here, you will be able to find a professor or an aide of the professor, and he will be giving you an uh, item finder. But the only thing is, the catch is, you have to actually catch 30 Pokemon. You see? Catch, catch. Now, if you go right here to Route 12, you will be unable to go anywhere north or south because there's a Snorlax right there. Now, sleeping in our way, we got to find another way out of here. So, that is, uh, I guess that's pretty much it right there, guys. Yeah, that is pretty much all of it right here so in the next episode we're gonna be going straight to the SSN we're gonna be completing that whole shindig right there and then I think it depends on the time actually we're just gonna be going straight to the uh, SSN yeah we're gonna be doing that and then from there we're gonna be going into the Pokemon gym and then grabbing some other stuff other than that guys Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, patient as always. I hope you guys have had a very, very Merry Christmas. As I am recording this, it is actually Christmas time, so yeah. I think it's like... So if you're watching this, it's yesterday. Anywho, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red. See you guys.